Good evening, welcome to. Math week is number 116. <laughs> okay, today we're going to talk a little bit about simple probability. I have some quarters that we're going to flip around, and uh, I put I put I used our little dry erase marker to mark the tail side with blue, just because it's probably hard to see what's heads and what's tails. So there's heads, a little bit of blue is tails. So first we're gonna we're gonna see what happens if you flip just one coin. Okay, what can happen if you flip one coin? You can land heads or tails. I'm gonna give myself a little bit more room. Right, it can land heads or tails. So which is okay? If you flip one coin, you can have. You can get one head or you can get one tail, right? Yeah. And they're both going to occur about the same amount of time. And for purposes of our little video, we'll just pretend that half the time comes up heads, half the time it comes up tails, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what if you flip two coins? What might you get? You could get two heads and two tails, or one head and three tails. Oh. Two coins. You're going to flip two coins. What are the possibilities that you can get? One head for one coin. Yeah. And one tail for one coin. Right. And one head for the other coin. Okay. And one tail for the other coin. Okay, so you can get head. I want to do it like this. You can get head, head, tail, head, head, tail, or tail, tail. Right? Does the order matter on this one? Well, that's what we need to see. I mean, the first coin you can get heads, and the second coin, if you get heads for the first coin, you can get heads for the second coin, or tails for the second coin. If you get tails for the first coin, you can get heads for the second coin, or tails for the second coin, right? Yeah. So, this is interesting. There seem to be two ways that you can get one tail and one head. So before we had one one, now we have one two one. Does one two one look familiar? Powers of eleven. Yeah, where does that come from? So it's eleven squared. Yeah, where where else did you see one two one? Pascal's triangle. It comes from Pascal's triangle. So we have an interesting question. Maybe we'll take a look at this. Is it going to be? equal number of times that you see two heads, a head and a tail, or two tails, or is it going to be not equal? So let's see what, what can happen. Okay. Yep. Looks like you got four possibilities. So, what do we have? We're going to flip two coins. The first coin can either go heads or tails. And how often does each one of those happen? I don't know, but you always said half the time. A half, yeah. It's going to happen half the time, that's going to happen half the time. Now the next coin can go heads or tails. And how often is that going to happen? It's going to be... It's going to happen half, of, has, half as often as... Half the time too. I should probably make sure that's on screen. Yeah. So it looks like one-fourth of the time, half of half the time, we're going to get two heads. Head heads is one-fourth. Heads tails is one-fourth, because again, it's half of half the time, right? Yep. Tails heads is half of a half, right? Yep. And tails, tails is one half. One fourth, sorry. So it looks like he two heads are going to come up about a quarter of the time. Heads, tails is going to come up about half the time. And tails, tails is going to come up about a quarter of the time. You want to see? You want to do the experiment a little bit? Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can flip. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see if we can flip eight times and see what we get. Okay. I'll flip one, you flip one, but let's just do our, let's just do a little quick chart here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay, grab your coin. You have to flip it, honey. You can't just throw it. What do I, 
Put you put your thumb under it like that and let it go up in the air. Why don't I flip them? Okay. <laughs> okay, you ready? I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna shake them together like this. And, and, uh, okay, so we get tails, tails. Okay. Heads, heads. Interesting. Heads, tails. The dry erase marker's wearing off. Better make it a little bit more blue. I have to wash these quarters when we're done with this video. Tails, tails. It's funny, we've only gotten one head's tails. We were supposed to get head, heads, heads. Yep. Uh-oh. I don't know if this is working or not. Get the tails. Tails, tails. Hmm. <laughs> Must be the lucky heads, heads, tails. Ah, oh, here we go. Heads, tails. Last one. Last one. Heads, tails. Okay. All right. So we got three heads, tails. We got one, two, three. We got three tails, tails, and we got two heads, heads. So we're not sure. We we're expecting two, two, and four. That was a little bit off. But maybe if we did the experiment a lot more. But what you should get is you should get a quarter of the time you should get heads, heads, a quarter of the time you should get tails, tails, and then half the time you should get heads, tails. That's pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll do the experiment a little bit more when we're done with the video, okay? Yeah. All right, good job.